all smooth? Ooh. Tropica, nothing smooth. Last week on Tropica Island of Treasure, we got to know our seven celeb and seven consumer contestants who jetted their way to the island paradise of the Maldives. After a taste of the smooth life, the consumer contestants were told that their audition continues. I do have something very important to tell you, and that is that your audition is not over yet. Who will rise to the challenge and who will crumble under the pressure? Seriously, I literally just got here. And now we have to dish in all over again. Oh, we like the sunset. <laughs> Surrounded by the beauty of a Darren prestige vadu, the contestants have to do their best to impress. What does it take to win a million rand in the Maldives? Well, the truth is it takes a lot. But most importantly, it takes great teamwork and the perfect partner. So today, the consumer contestants will be participating in their first set of island challenges to prove to the celebrities that they do have what it takes to take them all the way through to the end. Welcome to Tropica Island of Treasure, Maldives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! One, two, three, put it on now! Can't check my flight time, haters out of my sideline. Fly out at night time, waking up in the sunshine. Flip the script and I wonder, living life is the younger. All oh, that's gonna change now, life's gonna get strange now. On this island, sunset and my silence. At the end of my tether, hands off my treasure. I'm free and trainless, picturesque and I'm brainless. Unashamedly shameless. Yeah, we about to get famous. Ain't nothing smoother. This is a gorgeous place. Everything here is absolutely beautiful. But this is not a holiday. It is a competition at the end of the day. So, game face off. It's my game face. I may look like a cute little school girl, but watch out. You are the contestants, be to watch out for me because I'm coming for you. <clears throat> With targets out in the water, looks like I gotta swim. So be it. We'll be a walk in the park. I'm probably gonna have to stand on the platform and hit the ball really hard. Consumer contestants, hello to you once again and welcome to your very first set of Tropical Island of Treasure Challenges. How are you guys feeling this morning? Excellent. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Now before we get started with the fun and games, let's first welcome the most important people in your lives today. The people you have to impress. Our celebrity contestants. <laughs> Hey guys, take a seat, make yourselves comfortable. Celebrities, you are in the very fortunate position in that you get to choose which one of these consumer contestants will partner with you in competing for that grand prize of a million rand. Now you guys, here's the deal right now. These celebrities know nothing about you, so this is your chance to make your very first smooth impression. Feeling the pressure with the celebrities watching me right now, and I feel like they plotting on who to choose. I think it would have been way easier if we'd all just picked who we wanted from the onset, because what's going to happen is you're going to end up with someone who you didn't necessarily want and vice versa. But at the end of the day, just put the celebrities aside and just focus on the goal and do the best that you can. <laughs> so you'll be playing for three reward bounties. Each one of these will allow you to choose your favorite celebrity, take them away from prying eyes and prying ears on a one-on-one -on -one spa date to get to know them a little bit better. You like the sound of that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's find out what you're playing. Take a look behind me. We're going to test out your decision making and your accuracy skills with a game called On Target. Behind me, you'll see three targets, each of which have three different scoring zones. Now, each of these represent different points. The further away the target is, the more difficult it is to hit. The more difficult it is to hit, the more potential points. Your task is to use a racket and five balls to try and land in as many high scoring zones as possible to accumulate as many points as possible. At the end of the day, the person with the most points wins the challenge and has the option of choosing their favorite celebrity to take them off on that one-on-one -on -one spa day. 
Simple enough? I'm absolutely mortified because <laughs> racket sports are definitely not my forte. Um, so yeah, one of my biggest weaknesses are being exposed from the start, which obviously I'm not too happy about. I've played golf in school, so I'm pretty cool with, not, not a bat, but I'm pretty cool with a ball and another instrument and the whole hitting thing. Having played squash throughout my years, this will be easy. It should be straightforward for me. But of course, this is Tropical Island of Treasure, so there is a slender twist. This is it. You'll each be competing individually with everyone else away from you, so they cannot see what you're doing, how you're doing it, or how many points you're scoring. And the only time you'll find out is at the end when everyone has had their turn. Everyone good with that? Yeah. yeah. So it's just you, the game, and of course these celebrities that will be watching and judging every single move. So play your game carefully, strategize, know what you're all about, show them what you're all about. Are you ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's draw numbers and find out who's going up first. What I'll be looking for when they audition today will be personality. You know, you can, you can get the games, you can be winning, but personality takes you a long way. Now we get a little bit more insight on who's who and how they handle the games under pressure. All right, are you guys ready to welcome our first contender? Yeah! Well, she's the medical student with an artistic flair. Let's welcome Nondu. Hello, 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 everybody. All right, Nondu. Here we are. So do you think you have what it takes? We're about to see. Well, let's see if she can do it. Hashtag T-I-O-T-8. Let us know at home when you are ready. First ball goes up and it's a miss. Second ball lobs. Oh, slightly closer. Lob technique, could it be? Oh my word. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Yes, oh. This is the last one, Nondu. If you need to score, this is the time now. On the target. Oh. No score, Nondu. What happened there? Angle, direction was a bit off. Well, that was your first individual challenge. Thank okay. you very much. Cool. Thanks, Kat. I think she's a bit intimidated, so she didn't really do as well as she as as well as I thought she would. I believe. I'm a bit bummed that I didn't get any points, but it's definitely not going to get me down. We've got more challenges coming up. Who knows what's going to happen next? All right, guys. Next up, it's the personal assistant with salsa in his shoes. Let's welcome Mark. <laughs> He's got a bit of a job on him. There. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Got the smooth job going on. All right, feeling good, Mark? All right, yeah. I think I have what it takes to win this challenge. First ball finds a big lob, aiming for the big target. Big miss. Going for another big lob. I'm not sure which one you were aiming for there. It landed right in between. Big lob. Oh, yeah. ah. always just landing it in between, hey? you got to make a choice. What are you hitting gotta for? i got to make a choice. I'm aiming for the big numbers, huh? The lob is there. Oh, oh, just on the other side. You've got one more oh. ball to go. Use it carefully, Mark. Safe lob. Oh! Hits the side. Of the target. Ah. Unfortunately, Mark, no points for you. I know that. Ah. I would have thought you would have had the height advantage. As you can see, I think it's anyone's game at this point, true. That really sucked. So, Mark, I was a little bit confused about because it didn't seem like he was working with his strategy at all. He was aiming for the one and then for the other and then for the other and then missed all of them. Mark Anthony, ah, oh, man. He's big, he's tall, but I mean, why was he failing to, to nail it? All right, guys. Next up, she's the dancing drama enthusiast. Hopefully, not a drama queen. Let's welcome Lee Se. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been quietly confident thus far. Let's see. All right, Lee Se. Let's see how smooth you are. When you're ready, you can go. It's a very careful aim she's taking. Okay. Big lob for the big one. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm gonna try it again. 
Still aiming high. Risking it all. Big lob going for the second one. Oh. oh come on, girl. Oi. Getting it on. Yeah. Oh, oh my word. I think this time I'm gonna play it safe and just aim for the closer targets. Overhit on the last one. At this point, I'm probably thinking the celebrities are thinking something I am, hopefully, which is that I'm a risk taker, and I'd really just try all my options and just stick to one plan. It shows that she's adaptable. She can change her game plan even though something is not working out. I think she failed to strategize how she was going to, you know, go for the points, try get the points she had to get. So next up, guys, is the super swimming sensation who can splash anyone out of a pool. It's Kelly. Always full of energy. I love it. I love it. All right, now I know that Kelly is very familiar with water, but is she familiar with foreign objects in the water? Let us know how she'll do using hashtag TIOT8. Get a taste of the smooth island life and win big with Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack, and you can win daily airtime prizes. American Carista luggage for your next adventure. Vouchers from loot.co.za to shop the hot daily deals online, and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za. It doesn't get smoother than winning with Tropica. Your task is to use a racket and five balls to try and land in as many high scoring zones as possible to accumulate as many points as possible. At the end of the day, the person with the most points wins the challenge and has the option of choosing their favorite celebrity to take them off on that one-on-one -on -one spa day. Kelly, it's all yours. Five balls, one racket. Ooh, that was not a good start. Nice lob. Oh, okay. Tried to hit it a bit harder, um, but failed epically as well. Nice lob. Oh! oh. oh. Guys, this is getting intense. Oh. The lob is there. Oh. oh, my word. You got one more ball, Kelly. The lob is there. Hits it. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh. Well, Kelly, congratulations. Well done. So it really didn't matter with this challenge whether you won or not, in my own personal opinion, um, because at the end of the day, the celebrities still get to choose. So as long as you made some form of impression, I think that's all that you really had to do. All right, guys, next up, we've got the entrepreneur with a swag and sense of humor to charm all the ladies. Give it up for Mpande. Like a boxer about to step into the ring. All right, well, you know how it works when you're ready. First one. Oh, overhits it. Trying for the safer point. Second one. Yes. Oh, that was really close. That was really close. Oh, you seem to be rushing through it for some reason. You do know that you have time. You can take your time to think about it. The ball itself is not like a tennis ball, so it's pretty... The weight is different, so I'm not used to that as of yet. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get the hang of it, and it's not working out at all. The lob. Too oh. hot. Come on, come One on. One more ball to go. This is very important, Bundy. The lob. Oh! oh. Zero points is pretty disappointing. It's something I didn't expect. I was very confident about him when he got on. I thought like he was going to do well, uh, but he disappointed me a little bit. Mbande just rushed it. I need someone who's patient and you can think about it before just hitting balls like that. <laughs> so guys, next up is the fitness instructor who can help you balance your books while he squats. It's Rudy. Oh, look at that with the high fives all around, making sure he gets the friend, <laughs> the friend zone stamp. <laughs> all right, man, are you feeling good? 
Feeling good, feeling good. Fantastic. Well, you know how it works. The five balls are there. There's your racket. There are your targets. A deep breath, and when you're ready, it's all yours. Okay. Okay, wow. all right. That's the first one. Oh, technique letting you down there. And I've told myself, third one, Roots, you're going to nail this. The lob is there. Hi. Nailed it, got it. This is my time, baby. Two balls to go. Going for the big one. Ay, ay, ay. One ball. Loves it. Oh. Expected way more from Rudy. Had he focused and also took his time, could have done better. Well, Rudy looks like he's got half a dozen hot cross buns stuck to his dad. So, um, does he have to score points? I mean, hasn't he like already done his part? <laughs> you can be strong all you want and if you get to the challenge and you mess up and then you lose it and you can't pick it up from there, you've lost the whole thing. Up next and last but not least, a marketing assistant with a mad love for the Brazilians. Give it up for Lizanne. Excited, yeah. blowing kisses. <laughs> Let's hope those kisses will return back with they points. They will, they will, they will. You sure? Yeah. All right, step into the frame. You know how it works. This is your moment to shine, Lizanne. It's the lob. That. Oh! oh! My word, that is amazing. Okay, I got this. That's the game plan, how I hit this one on. I'm going to do that for the rest. So four balls to go. The lob is there. Oh! Lands it on the target, but it bounced out. So technique is still everything. There's the lob. Oh! That was so close, literally splashed water onto the grass patch. You got two balls to go, Lizanne. Oh! Lizanne, one last ball to go. Make a count. You've got this, focus. I definitely don't think one point is enough and it's going to get me through. But yeah, just trying to keep a positive attitude. What did you guys make of that performance? I like that she took the time to make the decision that she's actually going back when that failed. She's like, I'm going back to playing it safe. Yeah. Cool. So hopefully this is helping you make a wiser decision as to whom you will choose. But let's find out who's won this first individual challenge. So after our first individual challenge, we've come up with a three-way tie between Rudy, Kelly and Lizanne. And they now go into a sudden death situation, one chance at a time. Rudy, Kelly, Lizanne, you understand the rules of the sudden death and you've drawn for spots. And that's exactly the order that you'll be following. Rudy, you're first. Kelly, you'll be next. Lizanne, you'll go last. One turn at a time. Rudy, when you're ready. They're all strong contenders. So I think um, it's going to be interesting to see who dominates. <laughs> I like the encouragement, all right. Little victory dance might be premature, but let's see how he does. Oh, yeah. Kelly, you're up. Gets the lob, not the distance. Great. Is no pressure. You can finish this off with one smooth shot. Yeah. Yeah. Love. No! Oh! Oh! Every time. Unbelievable. Every time. You rotate again. Rudy, you're up. Go. Yes, someone might have the muscle and they might look fit, but it's anyone's game. Ah, just not the distance. There's the lob. Oh, Lizanne, the only person to actually hit the zone. But will it stick Logan. this time around? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Come, on, come on, come on. That's a point, Kat. That's a point. That's, That's a point. Guys, you know the rules. That is not a point. It's got to stick 
on the scoring zone. Rudy, you're up. <laughs> There's a lot. Ah, oh, getting there, getting there. I'm livid, I'm frustrated. I'm telling myself this is my chance, it's gone. But that's the game. There's the lob. That's good. Oh! oh! I can't believe it. Cowbell. It literally <laughs> rolled right off the other end. Lizanne. Third time lucky. Going for the far one. In the five, Nizan wins. But for a moment, I have to stand and just watch. Is it really sticking? Is this moment really happening right now? Oh, Lizanne did so well. She did so well. She impressed me. I felt good because I'm based in Durban. She's from Durban. I was like, oh, nice. I did my best and I'm sure that the celebrities could see the attitude that I have and my determination and that I don't give up. So hopefully that will play in my favor. From what I've seen so far, Kelly is definitely still someone that stands out for me in terms of ticking my boxes. With Lizanne winning the challenge, everyone seems to think it's going to be quite awkward now, a selection, because we know she wants Nay. We have a feeling Nay wants her. But we have the sneaky suspicion that she's going to choose someone else to go to the spa treatment with. So Lizanne, you are the winner of our very first reward bounty, which means you get to choose your favorite celebrity and take them on a one-on-one -on -one spa day, have a massage, get to know them better, and perhaps make your play in helping them to choose you. For the rest of you guys, this isn't over. We still have two more reward bounty challenges to go. So let's head on out. All right, guys, come through. I don't know what we have to do with these frames. Maybe carry them, mount them on our backs, somehow tie it around ourselves and climb up that little ladder thingy that's there and possibly hang that frame. All right, guys, welcome to your second reward bounty challenge. Firstly, Lizanne, congratulations on winning the very first one. Should you win this second round, that'll entitle you to take two celebrities with you to that one-on-one -on -one spa day to get to know them better or you have the opportunity of gifting that to another one of your fellow contestants. <laughs> it's all your choice. You can play nice or not, but there's still a lot to play for, guys. So let me introduce you to the next game we call Ladder Ball. At each of your starting points, you'll see two ends of rope. Now, they are buried underneath the sand, and you'll go one rope at a time, unearthing each rope until the very end where you pull out a bag from underneath the sand. Bring that bag back to your starting position and repeat the process for the second rope. Once you've gotten both bags in the starting position, empty the contents. You'll find balls and rope in there. Now, you are to use that to connect the balls using the rope, right? Once you've done that, your final task is to hook those balls and the rope up to each one of those rungs of your designated ladder. So each rung must have its own set of balls and rope. Clear? The very first person to get it right wins the second round and wins their opportunity of selecting one of those guys over there to have a one-on-one -on -one date with. Clear to everyone? All right, cool. Let's draw for positions. Won't be challenging at all. Wow, it looks intense. I'm highly stressed about the ropes, about the, the tying of the knots. I'm depicting the knots in my head already, thinking, how am I going to do these knots? Contestants, it's time for you to show how cool and smooth you can be under pressure. On my mark. Three, two, one, go! All right, good start there. Who's going to be the first to get their bag out of the ground? It is Rudy, who's out of the starting blocks first. He's back. I'm not even worried about my contestants. This is all me. I got this. Also, Nondu's got her bag. Looks like Kelly might be taking over the lead because she was back pretty soon after that. Finally, Lizanne getting her first bag. Mark with his second bag. Bande, you got your balls out. Get the ropes out. Everyone, except Lisa. Lisa's still struggling to get the second bag out. And I actually think at some point I'm first. You know, I'm in the lead. Next thing I have to try and untie this bag. Try to untie this bag. Then I realize, yep, no, I don't have to untie the bag. I run all the way back to the platform with the bag and I just repeat the process. And at this time, I'm just trying to make up time. It's so quiet. You can literally hear these guys' hearts beating out of their chests. I'm struggling a bit with getting the ropes through the holes in the balls. The one side just seems a bit smaller than the other side. Nondu, 
She's already got her first set of rope and balls tied together. Lizanne, looking like she's got her first set made. Onto her second. Kelly got her first set made. Wow, Lisa getting involved with the teeth there. Nondu up first with her set. Mark already there. Mark with the first one. Nondu with her first one. Lise struggling to find her lost balls in the back. There she gets them out of the leaves. And still as it stands, Mpande struggling. Rudy struggling. The knots are done, but I tell myself that I need to retie these knots just to make sure that the balls don't slip out. But in the background, I hear moss up already. I start stressing. I'm like, I gotta go now. Irrespective, I leave the knots and I just start tossing, tossing. Yes! That would count. Lizanne with her first one. Lite has her first set hung up on the run. Kelly still struggling at the moment. Five the holes you have to go. This is the pressure I was talking about. Remember, each one of those rungs must have a set of balls and rope on it. Oh, Mark nearly getting it right. Rudy on the board. I'm back in this game right there. Mbande still yet to complete. I think the dynamics in this challenge completely change the way we perceive the contestants because we realize it's not just about power, strength and grit, but also about a little bit of luck. So right now, Lite, Lizanne, Mark, Nondu and Rudy are on the board. Oh my word, with one more to go, Nondu could take this challenge. Ah, your cat screaming. Oh, and Nondu has a second ball on one of those logs and I'm like, oh, come on. Nondu could take this challenge. Murphy's Law. Get the top, get the bottom, now it's the middle one. And I'm throwing, and I'm throwing, and I'm missing, and I'm missing, and it's frustrating. Nondu is so close to taking the second reward bounty. Mark catching up. All I hear is Mark and Nondu, and I'm just like, really? We've got Mark and Lizanne with two as well. They've caught up to Nondu. This is literally sudden death on a different level. Lise, how are you doing? How are you doing? The pressure is telling at this very moment. Don't give up. Come on. And the winner is Mark! Mark takes it! Unbelievable! Ah, uh, yeah. I wanted to jump out of my skin. <laughs> yes. Can I? Woo! <laughs> Shucks. I was so, 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 so close. Of all the contestants, I did not expect him to win that one. I did not. And that just makes my loss even worse. I feel like Rudy's making moves because I feel like he, he loves himself to a point that this is making him feel so embarrassed. Congratulations, Woo! Mark. You've Woo! done it. The second bounty is yours and you get to choose one of these celebrities to take along with you and get to know them better on a one-on-one -on -one spa day. How do you feel? Awesome, man. I win. It's really a bit of a surprise because he's quiet. He doesn't say much. All he does is just laugh along with everybody else, which is a very good tactic. For me, I really thought the two muscle boys and Kenny, it was going to be their game. But it really turned out the other way around. When I see the contestants, I look more at the physicalities and I'm quickly realizing it's not all about that. Alright guys, welcome to your third and final individual reward bounty challenge. So far, Mark and Lizanne have secured their positions in choosing their favorite celebrities to go on that one-on-one -on -one massage day to get to know them better. So, congratulations, you got that winning feeling. That's good. But for the rest of you, there's still all to play for. So, let me introduce you to our final challenge, a game we like to call Pole Position. Now, on the playing field, towards the very far end behind you, you'll see a station with six Tropica products, including a balancing pole and a blue plate. We'll call that the smooth station. In the center, you'll see two tables, one empty one and the other filled with an assortment of delicious Tropica flavors. We'll call that the Tropica station. And to the far end behind me, you'll find another table that has six Tropica products that are stacked in a very specific sequence. We'll call that the memory station. 
Now, at the beginning of the game, you'll take your positions at your smooth station. On my mark, you'll take the balancing pole, the blue plate, put them on top of each other, and on top of that, you'll put one of the Tropica products. Make your way through the obstacle course, maintaining the balance of those three items in your hand. When you get to the Tropica station, put down the products and sprint all the way through to the memory station where you'll begin to memorize the sequence. Come back here, pick up your balancing pole, your blue plate, and take one of the Tropica bottles here back to your smooth station through the obstacle course, all while maintaining your balance. And there you'll begin to build the sequence. Now, one of the major rules is that should you drop any of the items in your hand while in the obstacle course, you have to go back to the original position you started with them. So for instance, if you were moving from your smooth station towards the Tropica station and you drop it in the obstacle course, you'll go back to the smooth station and vice versa. So it's all about time. Are you gonna be letting your brain do all the work to memorize the sequence the first time around? Or you're gonna be running back and forth, letting your legs do all the work. Guys, we all smooth? Smooth. All right, you know how the drill works right now? Let's draw for positions. I think it's definitely gonna be hard to balance a plate on top of a pole and then put a Tropica on top of that as well. Like, who comes up with these things and how do they get so creative? I'm pretty good at balance. I know myself, but it's the ditch that might just get me. And I'm thinking that I'm going to need to use my long legs to my advantage and instead of taking small steps, I'm going to try to take long steps and cover as much distance as possible. Contestants, this is your one final chance to show us how smooth you can be. On my mark, in three, Two, one, go! All right, seems like everyone is taking the cautious start. Lithe in the ascendancy as she makes her way over. Remember, you've got to keep your balance, guys. Dropping it means going back all the way to where you started. Mark Anthony, the very last to get out of the blocks alongside Lizanne. But he's walking at a snail's pace and I have no idea what he's thinking. Oh, yikes, I dropped the first bottle and I'm livid right now. Rudy has dropped it, unbelievably. Lise, the first in the safe zone to go to the memory zone, followed by Kelly Nondu, also in the game. Kelly making her way back from the memory stand. Here she is, followed by Lise. Nondu already making her way back. So my strategy is to take four different bottles first, and then the fifth one and the sixth one is where I'll go and actually look at the sequence, because at the end of the day, we have all, all of them, and it's one of everything. Mark Anthony's through into the safe zone. So is Lizanne. Rudy and Mbande still yet to make it through the obstacle course for the first time, and they both are through with Mark and Lizanne. Now Rudy and Mbande on their way to the memory stand. Lise has dropped it. Nondu right now, the very first person to have a Tropica bottle, the first of the sequence, on her table. Here she is making her way back. Kelly in hot pursuit. Got to be careful not to drop it now. Lise, concentration, straining her face. And I start humming. In my mind, I'm humming a song. It's the only way I'm going to stay calm because people will keep going, ah, oh, for dropping things. So I'm just singing a song to myself. Mark's catching my eye and as well as Lise. Um, she's very consistent and that's what, that's what keeps me looking at what she's doing. Nondu making her way back with her second bottle. The pace seems to be picking up right now as Rudy realizes the urgency. Mpande doing the same. Everyone straining with concentration, the intensity. Lise has caught my eye in this challenge. Mark Anthony looking like he is in such definite control of his game right now. He's not even looking at his totem pole. Look at that. I have a steady hand and the wind is just working with his like forces all coming together as one. Rudy and the Zen make their way to the memory zone. Lise making her way back to the Tropica zone. The celebrities are mesmerized. No word coming from them right now. Rudy is just on a roll. He is quick. He is intimidating everyone. It seems like he's about to win. Rudy with four bottles on the table. Lizanne making her way to get her fourth. Nondu on the way back with her fourth. I'm dominating. I'm leading the pack. I'm feeling so confident. I'm like, boy, you're on fire right now. 
but uh, the pressure is on because he also makes some careless mistakes in between some other challenges. But I guess we'll just have to see who's going to come out tops. Keep focusing, don't oh. drop it. Oh! Kelly, the pressure getting too much. The pressure getting too much. Going to make your way all the way back. Start over. Things are definitely not going too well. My hands are shaking uncontrollably. Very sorry, Mom. <laughs> Kelly drops again, second time. Mark drops. Rudy drops. Lita keeping it nice and cool on her way back. All she needs to do is cross into that safe zone without dropping it. And she does. With only five bottles on. One more to go for her. Oh, Kelly still struggling. Lizanne now at the memory zone. Mark Anthony making his way back. Mpande looking for his last bottle. Done. Rudy says he's got it. Nope. No. I'm like, how can it be wrong? Like literally, it's right in my head. I really sure, sure myself, cool red, all the way to pineapple, it's correct. What is wrong? That sequence needs to look exactly the same. Bande says he has the sequence. Let's take a look. No, that's not right. No, this is not correct. Under pressure, I ended up taking two of the same bottle. So I had to go back and return it, but yeah. I was sure of a tropical, which somebody else took, so yeah, it killed me. <laughs> if you don't know yet, then you need to make your way back to the memory zone and re-memorize the sequence. They need to be in the same order. Lithe looking like she might have it. Done. Lithe says she's done. Does she have it? Lithe wins ah! the challenge. No. Yes. Oh. 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 Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I am so, so happy. I really, really, really wanted this. And the fact that I won just gives me a greater chance to prove myself to the celebrity that I really want. I feel a bit sorry for Rudy though, because he was right there. He just didn't get the whole straight line concept. I still cannot believe that Lichle won. I, in my heart, believe that I won. Lichle, I don't know if she's a threat. Like, I usually don't think that girls are much of a threat. So after this challenge, I'd consider both Lichle and Nondu as um, potential partners, um, which is a surprise to me because I didn't think I wanted necessarily to be teamed up with a girl, but um, I like that they're showing um, determination. I definitely think Melinda's taken notice of me, and um, I know I'm up against a very strong fellow contestant for her, so we'll see how it goes. I hope my celeb has been watching and is impressed with how I've performed in the challenges and if she isn't, I'll be really bummed, but what can you do? I feel Karaba's been watching me. He's a bit hesitant right now of me not winning the task, but he knows that I've been consistent in every single one. I've been right up there, right at the top. All right, guys, I think we can give each other a round of applause. That was a great performance on all three challenges. Well done. You've really shown the best of yourselves. And hopefully, celeb contestants, that's given you a fair idea of whom you'd like to go with. Hopefully. Well, let's hear what you have to say. So I'm going to start off with you, Kanya. Tell me about what you thought about any one of these guys' performances, whether good or bad. Let's hear what you have to say. I'd like to speak to Lee here. Firstly, congratulations on your win now. Um, I think you have a really good head on your shoulders. I like your persevering nature. I think if you keep at it, you could get really far. Excellent. Great comments. To me. I want to speak to Rudy. Uh, I mean, I've been watching him since, you know, his very first challenge. And I love his consistency and his hard work. And I think that sometimes he does get a little distracted. But I think now that he's got the momentum, I definitely think that he's got what it takes. All right. Melinda. And then I'd like to say something to Nondu. I mean, you've been consistent like in three challenges already. And I think consistency is something that's really great in a competition like this. But it shows something about focus as well. So commend you for that. Okay. Smartly. I'd like to speak to Mark. 
Um, with the challenge, it's very consistent. I like how you kept a slow pace. As much as everyone else was watching, you were there. You were slow and you still managed to keep up with everyone else who was ahead of you. So that's also a good thing. Keep up with the good work. Okay, well, good comments all around so far. What about you, Ney? So yeah, I'm hearing very good things. I saw you guys are doing so well. Big up to all of you. I just wanted to find out on the, on the negative side, um, Kelly, how did you feel every time you attempted to do something and the bottle kept falling? What was running through your mind? What did you wish you could have done? Well, I think you guys need, also need to realize we are under a lot of pressure. It's not only a show like that we're trying to impress you. So, yeah, it is pressured and I do not have very <laughs> steady hands. So there's nothing I could do. I was just trying to stay positive and give my best. Awesome, man. So we can expect of you. All right. Karabo. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to talk to you, Lizanne. Uh, firstly, uh, I think you were incredible from your first, second and third challenge today. Consistency. Uh, and also, what I want to know is that going forward, what is your plan? For me, I think it's all in the mind. For me, it's just to have a positive mind and to take each challenge in my own stride. Sounds like a lady with a plan that's put together. All right, Brendan. I'm going to talk to Mbande. I just want to say, well done on this challenge. You really did good. But I think you get too over-eager and a little bit hard on yourself when you don't get it right. So I think you should just stay positive. You can go really far. But um, well done so far. All right, guys. So there's a comment that hopefully will make you feel even better after all of these challenges that we've done. But of course, congratulations to Lizanne, Mark and Lise on being the winners. But you guys will get to choose who your favorite celebrity is that you'd like to take with you on that one-on-one -on -one date and hopefully get to know them a little bit better, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, stay tuned because after the break, we'll find out who our winners choose to take on that one-on-one -on -one date to cement or sway the decision of their favorite celebrity. And of course, what's Tropical Island of Treasure without a slender twist? Stay tuned to find out what it is. Get a taste of the smooth island life and win big with Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and you can win daily airtime prizes, American tourista luggage for your next adventure, vouchers from loot.co.za to shop the hot daily deals online and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za. It doesn't get smoother than winning with Tropica. my fellow Tropicans, here we are, the moment we've all been waiting for to find out who our winners will choose. And once again, this is your opportunity. Choose very carefully to get to know the kind of celebrity that you'd like to be partnered with when you make your way in these next couple of days, of course, challenging yourself for that grand prize of a million rand. Okay, Lizanne, we're going to start off with you first. Who is your chosen celebrity? She could take Melinda or she could take Nay, which is... Either or, I'm not too sure. I will be choosing the very handsomely beautiful Melinda Bear. Hey! I was kind of surprised when Lizanne asked me to go to the spa. I thought she was the kind of girl who'd want to be paired up with a guy. The things that she is doing in life is something that I aspire to do one day as well. So I think it would be good to just have that alone time with her and just converse with her and see her level of thinking so that I can kind of grab a few nuggets and maybe she can mentor me in the future. Mark, over to you. Who will you be choosing? Yeah, it was a tough decision, but I'm going to have to go with my homeboy, Mr. K. Karabo. There we go. Uh, that goes to show that he has some sort of belief in me and I hope that I don't disappoint. And when I'm going to take him to the spa, I think that I'm going to ask, well, I'm going to actually tell him that he needs to choose me because he's focused and I'm a good runner and together we just might make a dynamic team. And Lise, as the leading lady who won the last challenge, who will you be taking on your spa day? I must say I've been going back and forth, but I think I'm going to stay confident in my final decision and I'm going to take Brendan. Brendan! I've chosen Brendan. Um, I don't know if he's been paying much attention to him. I can't really see through the shades he's always wearing, but I, in each and every challenge, I really just try to give up my best and just hope he's watching. I was thinking of going with Mpande or Rudy, but I'm reconsidering, um, especially for the girls. Um, I think they show a lot of guts and courage, so I need that on my team. 
I was initially surprised by the spa choices, but um, that's when it dawned on me that the contestants are playing the game and these are probably the people they want to be paired up with and they're going to try and suck up. So guys, as promised, there is a slender twist. So celebs, you guys had your chance to sit back and relax and watch our contenders competing for your affection, all right? And now, as our celebrities, you get to choose which contestants are going to partner with you. But it's not going to be easy. You don't just get to choose. You're going to have to prepare yourself for your very own grueling challenges that will determine who gets to choose first, while they sit and watch you. Yeah. You guys like that? So you get to see what they're about as well. I can't wait to see what the celebrities are actually going to do. Well, you let us know at home who you think will be a match made in heaven and who will be a disastrous match. Link up with us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter using hashtag TIOT8. Oh man, this island is absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean, just watching the sunset and just chilling and looking at how beautiful the sea is and the whole, just the whole experience is amazing. I feel like this is my new home. I need to relocate here. We're chilling, I'm able to chill with my boy, Karabo. We're just bluesing, listening to music. Uh, we were doing a song by Rihanna, and the name of the song is Kiss It Better. What are you willing to do? Tell me what you're willing to do. Kiss it, kiss it better. The island is absolutely beautiful. I love being here. Um, so Dube and I like to walk on the beach um, and enjoy the sunset. Maldives is paradise. I'm super obsessed with the water villas and I also just think, you know, because I love pictures, uh, there's some really great scenery for me to kind of explore and check out in between everything else. I'm really, I really have been enjoying that. Well, we can't be in such a beautiful place and not take an obscene amount of selfies. I mean, the sun is setting, the ocean at this stage looks like a silver pan. It's just incredible. But I think it's also just a little bit of a distraction to keep our minds off of the fact that the tables are about to turn and everything's about to get real. You really can't get enough of this place. Well, the action continues, so join us next week on Tropica Island of Treasure to see South Africa's sexiest celebrities battle it out and get down and dirty for their choice of consumer contestant. It's going to be epic. Until then, South Africa, it's peace, love and smoothness. Next week on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives, it's the celebrities' turn to strut their stuff in the sun. By the time they get their hands down and dirty. I'm not too freaked out by the contestants glaring at us because I've had much worse on them as SMS Universe stage. Go! Come on! The consumer contestants get to relax and watch to see which celeb will have first pick of partner in the all-important team selection. Do we get the first race? Yeah! I think I might have chosen the wrong person to be with. Never feel good production. All smooth? Tropica. Nothing smooth.